Hi, today I'll be telling you about moles or melanocytic nevus. So these are the black lesions that you tend to see on your face and on any part of the body. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the causes of moles, what are the danger signs that you need to be aware of if you have a mole and also how to treat it if you have a mole. At the end of the video, I'll be telling you my opinion on home remedies and use of acids on tackling the mole. I make videos on skin care and on hair transplantation. If such content is of interest to you, then please subscribe to the channel. इस वीडियो को हिंदी में देखने के लिए ऊपर आई कार्ड में प्रेस कीजिए सो वट आर द कॉजेज फॉर मोल्स और मेलानोसाइटिक नीवस द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज इज यू वी एक्सपोजर दैट्स वाई दीज मोल्स आर यूजली सीन इन एरियाज विच आर एक्सपोज टू द सन ओके सो इफ यू हैव प्रोलॉन्ग यू वी एक्सपोजर और यू वर्क इन एन इन्वायरमेंट वे इट रिक्वायर्स यू टू बी आउटडोर्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम दिस कुड बी वन ऑफ द रीजन्स वाई यूर गेटिंग मोल्स सेकेंड इज योर स्किन कलर This is known to be more frequently seen in darker skin colors as compared to lighter ones. Third is genetic predisposition. If in your family other members have multiple moles on their face and elsewhere, then there is a high tendency that you will develop them too. Fourth is any underlying disorder such as a blistering skin disorder can also lead to development of moles. or if you are on any kind of immunosuppressive therapy or chemotherapy which kind of reduces your immune system this can also lead to formation of multiple moles on the body so what is the real reason why it occurs so it is known that the stem cells which make melanocytes there is a certain aberration in the maturation of those stem cells so instead of forming melanocytes which are the cells which make the pigment melanin they form nevo melanocytes meaning that they form cells which make this mole okay so there is some kind of disbalance that occurs in the body that converts this stem cells into the cells which make moles when do these moles occur they are most commonly seen in childhood and adulthood so commonly in second to third decade So in your 20s you may notice a few new moles developing on your face and body. So how do these moles appear? Moles are mainly of three types. First is junctional nevus wherein the cells which make this pigment are present in the layer between the epidermis and the dermis. Second is dermal nevus where the cells are in the lower part of the skin that is the dermis. And third is compound nevus that means that it is present in the junctional area as well as in the dermis so the appearance depends upon the type of the nevus so it can either be dark colored and flat like a junctional nevus or it can be lighter colored and elevated like a intradermal nevus or it can be elevated as well as colored which is a compound nevus So when can a mole be a reason for worry? So we get a lot of patients who come to us and say that they have this mole on the face and they are scared that it will become a cancer, it'll turn into a melanoma. So they want to remove it. In our skin type, uh, the occurrence of melanoma is quite rare. Okay, it is more commonly seen in lighter skin tone. However, we have to be careful if there are certain changes that I'll be telling you about. If these changes occur in your nevus, in your mole, then you want to promptly visit your dermatologist and get the mole tested. Okay? So, what are these changes that you can expect? If your mole has suddenly increased in size, I don't mean over a few years, but over a few weeks or months. Okay, if the mole has suddenly increased in size, then that could be a reason to worry. Second is if there is a change in color of the mole from black if it turns slightly bluish or grayish, then you can get it investigated. If there is an ulceration, that means that if there is a wound, okay, if the place where you have the mole there is a wound in that area or if it bleeds, then you want to get this mole evaluated. if your mole is just sitting on your skin and not bothering you and is not showing any of the signs like i mentioned 
then you need not worry about the mole now we'll discuss the treatment part okay so if you have a mole how do we tackle it so the approach to treating a mole depends upon the size of the mole the type of mole and where it is present okay if it is present in certain areas which are hidden from the body then we can just let it be and not do anything okay if they are present in areas which bothers you then we can remove it so there are basically two ways to remove a mole either you burn the mole or you excise the mole so first we'll discuss about burning the mole we burn the area where you have the mole so that new skin forms in that area and the mole can be removed this can be done in two ways either by using a radio frequency ablation or by using a co2 laser both work on the same mechanism that they'll burn your mole layer by layer up to the level where we can completely remove the cells which are causing this mold okay so then the skin will heal in this area and might leave behind a small scar second method of removing the mold is by excision wherein we make an incision with a scalpel we remove your entire mold and we stitch it up so we'll have to suture it and the suture is usually removed on 7th or 10th day depending upon the type of suture used and the area from which the mole has been removed so remember that there is no cream that can help you in removing your mole okay there is no cream that can completely get rid of your moles it has to either be burnt or be excised and whenever you remove a mole it can never leave behind completely normal skin okay it can leave behind a slight scar so if you go for rf or co2 they might be a slightly flatter rounder scar which might be barely visible depending upon how it was removed and even when you go for excision it will leave behind a thin long linear scar so eventually it will look better than having the mole there but you can never have normal skin so we get a lot of people who come for mole removal but then they quickly change their mind once they come to know that they are going to have a scar so there is always going to be a scar left behind because to completely remove the mole we have to completely get rid of the cells making the mole so those lie slightly deeper on the skin okay at the level where there can be scarring so you have to be prepared to face a slight bit of scarring after you remove the mole so what can you do to prevent the formation of moles moles are very difficult to prevent okay because they are genetically determined there's nothing that you can really do to stop it from forming but certain studies have shown that use of sunscreen and reducing the exposure to uv rays may lead to reduction in the appearance of new moles okay so that is something you can consider if you're developing a lot of moles but it is not in your hands and not under your control to completely stop the appearance of new moles now i'm going to tell you my opinion on commonly used home remedies for removal of mole please do not go for any kind of home remedies such as applying a garlic or a baking soda or a toothpaste on your mole it is only going to make situations worse i have seen really really bad cases which have horribly gone wrong after using these irritant chemicals on the skin remember that your skin has to be treated gently you cannot just slam any kind of chemical on your face your skin will react okay so by applying all this baking soda or chuna on your face or lime it might get rid of the mold but it is also going to damage the skin surrounding the mold and it is just going to make the situation worse a mold does not look as bad but imagine getting a big scar in that area which is like two or three times the size of that mold it looks really really unesthetic so please stay away from application of all these chemicals and caustic substances on your skin and sometimes what happens is that these irritant substances just irritate and get rid of the top part of the skin so it will get rid of the top part of the mold injure your skin and leave the cells underneath the skin still so even after burning your skin in a really bad way the mole still comes back okay so you don't want to go for any of these home remedies or application of these acids on your face please don't do it because it is just going to do more harm than good
I hope you found this video useful and found it informative and got to learn something from it. If you have any questions regarding moles or any skin or hair related query, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them all. If you like such skin and hair related content, then you can follow me on my Instagram handle Dr. Achal MD, where I post such hair and skin related content daily. Thank you for watching.